What is up, everyone? Brandon Tyrell here, joined by Miranda Sanchez. Hello. Hey, so this morning we got a chance to play a new Halo game. Yes. Not, uh, not no, that new Halo nope, game. Not that one. <laughs> we wish it was that one. That would have been really cool. Yeah, but. it was not Halo <laughs> Infinite. It is a new arcade experience called Halo Fireteam Raven. It's a partnership between 343 Industries, Play Mechanics, and Raw Thrills, two companies that are known for making arcade games. Uh, it's in Dave & Buster's everywhere, starting today. I, think. I believe so. So you can go to your local Dave & Buster's and check it out. Um, the unit itself is awesome. What did you think? Yeah, like the presentation, you walk up and you're like, oh, wow, this is a big machine. It's huge. It's just yeah. four people. It's, it's kind of like it's supposed to be in a Warthog, but mm -hmm. in the rings, like the display itself is rather cool. You can see neat visuals here. Um, and it has like the rings on the outside and yeah. if you look up while you're in the unit like you see like the interior of the ring which that, is pretty neat. That's right, yeah. It's got these awesome bezels going up the uh, the interior ring showing, you know, Alpha Halo, the yeah. original Halo from from Combat Evolved. That's actually where this takes place. You play a squad, of, a four-person squad of ODST, mm -hmm. Orbital Drop Shock Troopers, uh, who are sort of going through their story in line with Master Chief. Yeah, like he popped up a few times, and I think the times when he did were really tasteful. It was yeah. like, oh, it's a chief, yeah. so it's cool. This, like it wasn't, it didn't feel too gratuitous. Right, yeah, you're not like on his coattails the entire time. Yeah, you're, he's, you're, too, he's too good for us. So. <laughs> you're in the middle of a firefight, and he pops up and kills nine things in front of you, and then and goes like, and does his own stuff. Like, I think uh, that, kind of increases as you go on and mm -hmm. like the severity of his actions. Yeah. Like at first he's just, oh, it's, it was the chief. And then like you see him again, you're like, oh dang. And then the third time you're like, he's <laughs> yeah. so cool, it's the Master Chief. He's got like, a shotgun Yeah, he gets a little bit more sword. time on screen each time, but uh, it's not, um, like I said, it's not gratuitous. Like right. it is still your story. You're just playing as the ODSTs and just gunning things down. Yeah, there. yeah. And it does take place during Halo Combat Evolved. So you start on the Pillar of Autumn during mm -hmm. the evacuation. If you're a big Halo nerd like us, um, you'll, under, you'll, you'll notice various points uh, through this experience that totally match the original game. Yeah. Um, and, you know, the, the variety of weapons and the enemies that you fight really, really mirror that combat evolved. You've got the assault rifle, the, the original pistol from Halo 1, you got a plasma pistol, plasma mm -hmm. rifle, the needler, a needler. rocket launcher, a grenade launcher. There's a bunch of a different... Shotgun. You got a shotgun, of course. Plenty of turrets. Uh, yeah, you're in a warthog turret a lot, you're in a specter turret a lot, or I'm sorry, shade turret. There's a lot of like really uh, sort of core DNA from the Halo-verse in this game and, and I appreciate it as like a fan for yeah, over a decade. and so this spans over six chapters so mm -hmm. you get a lot of variety as far as the levels go. Um, the enemy variety isn't obviously all that crazy or anything. Grunts, but there, there elites. Is enough there. But the weird thing is, is it takes place during Halo 1, yeah. but those bugs, those annoying flying bugs from Halo 2 yeah. are and in the game as well. they just bring in everything, a little bit of everything yeah. here too. And yeah. like some um, kind of new flood enemies that were bigger. I saw yeah, yeah, there was some cool. there were some flood enemies in there, obviously because flood played a big part in the second half of Halo One. Um, it sort of mirrored that as well. Like you'll go yeah. through the beginning of the game fighting the Covenant, and then the flood appear, and you fight them as well. And the Covenant and flood are fighting, and then you just get all the points you can of mowing them down while they're fighting each other. So it is kind of a score chase. <laughs> uh, every player, you know, your kills are racked up, and then you're assigned a score at the end of it. Um, we all did really, really well. Yeah, I think we all won at least one. One stage, which is really cool. Yeah, um, it, it actually really is a lot of funded to use the turret and the gun because it does have that sort of feedback. It like, yeah, it's like the little kick to it. Yeah. I think my only like big complaint was that the weapons themselves didn't feel all that different mm -hmm. unless you had like a rocket launcher or a shotgun yeah. um, versus the pistol versus an assault rifle. Like those kind of felt like the four main things right. and everything else felt a little samey. Uh, but it's still fun. Like you're still just mowing down a bunch of enemies right. and having a good time with your friends, which I think is like the biggest part, like the sell of this, right? Yeah, absolutely. And my favorite part of the whole thing was when we were on those turrets. There's a couple like sort of ride of the Valkyrie moments where you're oh, in yeah. the Pelican with a machine gun or a rocket launcher just firing down on hordes of elites or hordes of flood running across, um, running across this landscape. Uh, and it looks really good. It's, mm -hmm. it's two screens, 130 inches total. Uh, and it outputs in 4K60, so it's this really crisp sort of experience. And the art is super throwback. Um, it does have that like Halo 1 asset art. It's, it's all high res and it looks great, mm -hmm. but the style but of it, it the design of it sure. is, is very Yeah, yeah I like that, original. especially since it is the two screens. Like if you are the first person, or the fourth person, I guess, in the, dis the unit, yeah. um, you can still go and shoot across to the other screen. Like That's you're right. not limited to between which screen you're shooting at. And it really so. is, it, you really do have to crank that thing. Like yeah. I was on the far left and I see somebody over in the far right and I'm like cranking like this in order to hit it. Uh, <laughs> so it was, space. yeah, it was cool. Um, 
it took us, uh, I think it was 8.8 .8 Dave and Buster chips or credits per play. Uh, it took us roughly between eight and 10 swipes each to get yeah, through it. Yeah, I think I, I spent at least one or two swipes per chapter, depending yeah. on like the chapter and like its difficulty. Yeah. Obviously the first one's a little bit more simple, but it's, you do have a health bar. Yeah, that's and there, right. There's not a way in game to regain health as far as I know. I didn't see one either. So, so um, I mean, you know, sort of your standard light gun on rails thing. You get, mm -hmm. you take hits and then you get a game over and you had got to swipe again to continue. Uh, it took us about 40, 45 minutes to get through all six chapters. Um, I don't know what the price, conversion yeah, what the conversion that. of that is because yeah. Dave and Buster chips are sort of fluid. The more you buy, the cheaper they are. So um, just going into it knowing that it's probably around 20 bucks to get to the end of it, 15, 20 bucks maybe. Yeah, it depends on like all of that conversion and mm -hmm. stuff, but, but it was a lot of fun. Um, totally recommend getting a full crew of people. If you can get four people to play, that's the best way to do it. But if you don't have four people, um, it does kind of make it a little bit easier for you if there's like say only two people playing. Um, which I noticed we got to play a little bit of that yeah. when some of our other friends were packing up. So Four people is definitely <laughs> the way to go. In. So the other member of Unlocked who is not here with us right now, Ryan McCaffrey, is currently reviewing Halo Fireteam Raven. Uh, you can look for that up on the site later today. And uh, if you're interested in hearing a little bit more about this, I'm sure we're going to talk about it on our weekly Xbox show called Unlocked. So check that out on IGN. And for all things video games and more, you're already in the right place right here on IGN.